They receive one phone call when they arrive. Most of them do, not all of them get to. And they let you know that they've arrived safely and that the next time you'll hear from them is in a letter. <laughs> His phone call came in and he was real, he was yelling and it tore me to pieces because I didn't know what was gonna, what was gonna happen or what he was gonna face. I was scared for him. All right, so when we first arrived at MCRD, we were clearing around, it's all dark and then a drone structure comes on the bus and he says something along the lines of, you were, on my bus, you were you have now arrived at Marine Corps Reserve Depot, San Diego. Get up, get out. So we're just rushing outside, tons of drone instructors everywhere, screaming at us, we're holding our stuff real tight because they tell us to. When I got his first letter, it was like the most joyous slash saddest time of my life at that moment, so I thought. And the letter started rolling through. This was the only form of communication that I had with Eric. It wasn't like he got to make a phone call every day. It was the day before the crucible and we had all our, we had our main packs ready. A main pack is just the rucksack that you put on your back and walk around with everywhere. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, this is it. This is, you know, you, ha you have to do this. It was a do or die situation. So we wake up in the morning. I have no idea what time it is, but we always woke up probably like two to three hours before the sun was up. Uh, we put on our packs and we head to our bivouac site. We're down to the last weeks of Eric being at recruit training. I'm really excited, but at the same time, extremely nervous. Eric has to pass the crucible in order to become a Marine. It starts at 2 a.m. That's when the recruits wake up. So I woke up at two in the morning. I lit up a candle for him. I said a few prayers, made sure his bedroom light was on. This has been a tradition, a long time tradition. And I learned this from being on different Facebook groups with other parents and other volunteers that have gone through the same thing. So I had a candle made for him and I made sure it stood on the whole 54 hours that he was enduring everything that he had to do in order to become a Marine. And it's, it's the final stretch. You're in the clouds, you can't see freaking five feet in front of you. Uh, that's how high we are. And we're pushing and we're pushing and we're pushing. As a squad leader, it's my job to make sure everybody's good. It's uh, the final stretch. There's the one last hill and they just do the Spartan, Spartan cry all the way up. We're just screaming at the top of our lung and you see everybody to the right and left of you and you're either screaming or you're running so hard that you feel the ground underneath you shaking. It's, it's, a, it's an experience I'll never forget. And we finally get to that, that, that hill and then it levels out and we know we're done. And, and that's where the tears start to roll in for a lot of people. After receiving that notification that Eric and his platoon became Marines, I was elated. I was super excited. I was proud. I was happy for their victory. And I called my husband right away. I took screenshots of the family support page that had posted the, the call to orders. And later that day, my husband put up a Marine flag. It was official we have a Marine. We're a proud Marine family and I wanted the whole world to know. We're coming, so we get to the we get to the very top of the mountain. 
We set our packs down, we get into formation, and it's, it's the most beautiful thing. The most beautiful thing I, I, I've probably ever seen. You're at the top of this mountain, and you're above the clouds. You can see the clouds below you. We had an awesome rainbow that was to the right of us, right where our gear was staged, so right where the platoons go. And um, the sun was rising from the left-hand side, just rising, rising from the east. And it was, it was beautiful. And the drill instructors, now they're coming around. Blue ammo can to represent Kilo Company. And inside is all of our Eagle Globe and Anchors. And my senior drill instructor, Staff Sergeant Batista, comes up to me with my Eagle Globe and Anchor. And then I have to pop to attention, good morning, sir. I hold on my hand. And then he places it, and then he starts talking to me. And the things that he said were really heart moving, and this is where I just started flooding with tears. As soon as I felt that cold Eagle Globe and Anchor go into my hand, it was, it was, that was it. His Aunt Stephanie, my sister-in-law, made us shirts for family day. We all wanted to represent his last name, show everybody how proud we were of him and still are of him. It's the night before family day. I'm beyond the moon excited to go see my son. When I finally fell asleep, I think it may have been two in the morning, and bam, next thing you know, it's 3 a.m. Here we are waking up. We gotta leave the house at 4, 4.30 a.m. I don't know if I forgot anything. I don't care. I'm just excited because we're on our way to pick up our Marine. We get there, it's a beautiful day because it's not hot, the sun isn't shining. We get there on time, we, we park, we're waiting in lines and all these different lines, different formations. I don't even know where we're supposed to stand at, but all I know is that this is where the stadium is, this is the parade deck, and I know that this is where I have to meet my kid. Well, we're not Marines. We've already had our Brewers breakfast. We're headed back down to San Diego, or MCRD, I should say. We get to MCRD, it's the next day, and, and that's where it really hits where. That's it. This is our final week here. We're, we're done. I get to see my family in less than a week. All right, here it comes. One, two, three, two. I hug my mom, she starts crying. I, I really tried holding in my tears, holding in my, my composure, I should say. I'm taking my family around. We go have some food, we're talking, it's real nice. I take them to the museum and just teach them some very basic stuff about the Marine Corps history that I really enjoy. Look how emotional it is for that senior of 29, right? He's given those Marines everything he's got. That's 
That's what I'm talking about, senior 29. That's what I'm talking about. Let's give it up for the senior 29. At 11.45 a.m., Eric's drill instructor released them for liberty to spend time with his family for six hours. The moment had finally arrived. My son was walking towards me with a smile on his face. I cried all over him because I was finally able to hold my son after 13 weeks. It was definitely the most happiest time of my life. It was a proud moment. It was a proud parent moment to see my son in his uniform and finally holding him for this. So you just go with this bag. Yeah? yeah. My man. Joined up with the Marines. We killed more than a few. Some of them got away. We're still there more than 10 years later. Is it worth it? I can't say. But all things considered, when the day is done, well, I'm not laying in Section 60 down in Arlington. We're in formation. We're doing a march in on the parade deck for the last time. It was a bittersweet experience. Um, we finally get over to the final staging area where we get given the command to get dismissed. And hearing those final commands, it, um, it didn't feel real. Like it was almost as if I wanted the drill to last longer, but at the same time I didn't. The marching units are now being called to attention and the adjutant's command, sound, adjutant's call, will begin today's parade. time of my life I've been an emotional wreck but I all I know is that today's the day today I get to take my marine home today I get to see him in the car with me I get to see him wake up in his room something that I've been dreaming of for the past 13 weeks and today's that day <laughs> If I had one last time to say thank you to some of my drill instructors and our command, probably the main point that I would say is uh, thank you for not being too lenient on us as recruits. 
Thank you for treating us how Marines are actually treated in the real world. And thank you for preparing us. Hey, walk slower. Walk slower. I'm trying to get the angle right. Walk slower. Ha, 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 ha.